What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Virginia Airgun Hunter here. Um, just want to make a quick video about my experience today. Today, I went to Amelia Wildlife Management area, went to the shooting range there, and decided to do some shooting around. I put a new scope on my Air Force Texan 357. It's a center point scope, three to nine to forty. Uh, I decided to, uh, you know, sight it in, and also I put a Barsky scope on the gauntlet, so I wanted to sight them both in and do a little shooting around and try to get everything zeroed in and tight. Well. The gauntlet performed extremely well. This is my gauntlet in 177. It performed extremely well. I was able to zero it in, no problem. Uh, groups were pretty much whole and whole. Everything worked out good. It took me maybe four or five shots to get <clears throat> zeroed in good. and It performed well, very pleased. I was using some uh, Crossman Premier and also <clears throat> some uh, Meister Klugen pellets as well. And uh, they perform great. I mean, accurate hold and hold groups. However, my day with the Texan was just horrible. I happened to get <clears throat> these bullets for free from a friend of mine. I've used these before in the Benjamin Bulldog and a couple other air rifles I have, but this box I got free, so I said, hey, what the heck? And I also were using the h and &M Grizzlies, which I've had some decent groups in the past, but for some reason today, both of these were all over the place. You know, we talking seven inch groups at a hundred yards, four and five inch groups at 50 yards. It was windy today, but I mean, it was just horrible. I just could not get a satisfactory group out of either one of those rounds. And to be honest, I truly don't think it's the scope. I've used center point scopes a lot. And uh, I think it's the ammo. <clears throat> so from now on, I won't be using either one of those rounds for the Texan 357. They were horrible. So I'm going to clean the rifle and tomorrow I'm going to go out to the range and use some Nielsen specialty ammo and some arrow magnums and see if I can't get this thing sighted in where I want it at 50 and 100 yards and uh, hopefully I'll have some better luck. Uh, if you guys out there know of any very good quality ammo for the 357 Texan, please comment and let me know. I could really use it. I'm trying to get this gun set up and ready to go. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Thank you, guys.